senior political analyst Britt Hume is here tonight with analysis, his thoughts on what this episode may tell us about the Obama White House. Good evening, Britt. Hello, Brett. You know, this, I think, in political terms, is damaging to the administration because it feeds into the question of whether the administration can, in fact, administer. You know, we had first the fiasco with the rollout of the health care program. Now we've got the troubles at the VA. Now this blunder by the White House press office itself. And think about this. This is an administration that is fond of telling us that, or a president is fond of telling us that he finds out about these things from, uh, in the press. In this case, this was something that his press office put out, and the, and the mistake wasn't noted until somebody in the press told them about it. So they found out about this from the press, all right, after they put it out. I mean, that's, that's a high level of bum, bungling, I, I think it's fair to say. And I think it just sort of feeds into this whole question of, about whether the administration can really run anything. Look, it's certainly fair to say that given the size of the government, that every administration is going to have some trouble in some agency somewhere. I mean, think of George W. Bush and his problems with FEMA and Hurricane Katrina. That was, you know, it was kind of an epic at the time. And this administration, I think, you know, it's getting to a certain critical mass where you wonder whether people are going to say these people, you know, don't know what they're doing and they're not going to, and they're not finding out. Put aside the security concerns uh, for this person and his job. What about here at home, the politics of how this plays? and the size of the blunder. Well, first of all, the comparisons, I think, to the Valerie Plame case, which we all remember, in which Carl Rove was remorselessly pursued by the special prosecutor, Scooter Libby, who wasn't the person who, who leaked the name, was, was successfully prosecuted for what he said in the grand jury and so on. This was a woman, even though her status was supposed to be classified, she was working at a desk in Virginia. This is a guy on the front lines in Afghanistan. Uh, it's, an, it's a very different matter, and I think it's fair to say much more serious, and I think the public will recognize that. And as I say, I think it feeds into this question about whether you know, these are people who can run anything. Finally, going back to the Afghanistan uh, drawdown announcement, uh, your thoughts on that and how it plays? Well, I, look, if you're going to take the troops out of Afghanistan, why do you need to announce that? Why would you need to let the enemy know that you're going to be leaving or, or, or how much of your force you're going to draw down. There's no need to do that unless the need is political in some way. I mean, other than that, strategically it makes no sense. Tactically it makes no sense. It, it, you know, it makes only, only level in which I can see that it makes any sense is, as critics I think have fairly said, politics. All right, Brett, thank you. Brett.